and it, the blocks um, made the word baby. Oh, that's cute. It's got what? one, two, three. Four, Save it, Linda. We'll show it in. We'll show it. We're in already there. live. I no, just never turned mind. the water because yeah. everybody's showing telling their stuff. Sorry. That's beautiful. It is really pretty. Well, yeah. I just love these re retro, um, good housekeeping um, magazine fronts. They're great. I've well, already sent you guys. I think I sent a couple of you this one too. You've seen this before. Wait, I'm gonna make it bigger. Can you see it? Hold on. You, you've oh, seen this one, right? Oh, oh yeah, I love that. So cute. And then here's a the little boy. He's. Oh, 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 that's cute. So where and did then, you get those covers? Did you just Google for them? What's that? Where did you get the covers? I, yep, yep, I just Googled um, Good Housekeeping uh, magazine oh. covers. Oh, and and cool. I figured they're from 1932, so I think the copyright's probably expired. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, Sam. And here's here's what I did. We read a book in book club called The Night Portrait by oh, yeah. Laura Morelli. Tell us the story about that. Who is she again? I forget. Laura Morelli is um she graduated from she has an art history degree and she's um she graduated from Yale with uh and and she writes uh she's written a couple several book, novels and this was this one was about um world war ii and really like the monument men who went went around europe and tried to save a lot oh, of the yeah. artwork that was right. confiscated from the jews and um anyway so and it was and and the book was about um a really really famous portrait that leonardo da vinci painted and i'll show you the Here's what she looks like in the book. Oh. Okay, she's holding oh, something. Like she's holding with a oh, like. It looks like a little oh, rat, but it's an. Looks like an iguana. <laughs> it's called an ermine. E R M I N E. Oh. That's what I make fur out of. Yeah. Really? Looks yeah. like a ferret. Yeah, but they they you can get ermine I see it ferret. now. Yeah. Yeah. So here's what I did. I went online and I got the um. I got her, her photo, her, you know, the, the painting and I put them on coasters. Oh, so yeah. I made, I made, oh, a, I made a set of eight coasters. Oh. Using, I did that sublimation. Oh my gosh. All I've right. been having so much fun with this stuff. Now, is that for the ladies in the book club? Did, Pardon you, make me? It for, did you make it for the ladies in the book club? I made a set of coasters and I, we picked numbers one through set, you know, I turned, I gave them each a number and then I right. had a number. And so one person won a set of these uh -huh. and then another person I made, um, an eight by 10 with, um, really pretty matting around the photo and a picture frame. And, uh -huh. um, I gave the hostess who hosted that evening. She, I just gave that to her because she, she really liked that book. Oh, <laughs> anyway. was she the one that chose it? <laughs> she chose it. I, I, oh. at first when I was reading it, the, the, it was, the book was flipping from 1489 to 1939. It was uh -huh. just, um, uh, and I, and it went from four, it, it was about four different characters. The girl, the girl, this girl was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Her name is Cecilia. Quite a character. I, I yeah. love Cecilia. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and and it talks about how people went to great lengths to save this portrait that Leonardo da Vinci painted, and it's now in Poland. It's it's considered a national treasure, and it's at a museum in Poland. Wow! If, if Poland survives, jeez. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like it's uh, one minute after three, so I guess we can get started. So I'll start by introducing myself. By the way, I don't see if Stephanie's here yet, but she may be coming. Stephanie wasn't able to join us this time, but she'll be back next time. Hey, Stephanie, if you get here. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm Patty Ann. I'm from Western North Carolina, where it's really icky, icky weather outside, dismal, rainy, and cold. Stephanie's here. She said, hello, ladies. Hey, Steph. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Steph. <laughs> yeah, okay. And to my left is my partner in crime, 
you're to my left, Tammy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was. Yeah. Um, my name's Tammy. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. And it's yucky here today, too. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's a good yeah, day today. Right. You can craft. Right. Yes. <laughs> All right. Next up, Bernie. Hey, everyone. I'm Bernie. I live in Melbourne, in Australia. Um, I you may have heard on the news that Queensland, which is way up the top from me, is currently under icky weather. They've, a friend of ours had a, a metre of rain in two days, which is three foot of Whoa, rain. So no, lots of flood flood lots of flooding and lots. She's safe, but lots of flooding and lots of uh, rain. But down here now, we've got, I think today's going to be 30 again today. So what's that, low 90s, I think, for you? Oh, my uh, God. Yeah, but, but a meter that's like yep. over three feet over three feet in, in a in rain. In, yeah, so there's a lot of flooding up in Queensland. Goodness. They're calling it a rain bomb. Oh, you know, they come up with a, a new name for something. So this one's a rain bomb. <laughs> bomb. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And last but not least is Linda. <laughs> Hi, I'm Linda from Maryland, and um, actually, it's a it's a very breezy day here today, but sunny for a change. <laughs> oh, you lucky girl! Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, so we're ready, I guess, to get started with our cards. I'd forgotten what they were supposed to be, but Tammy reminded me they're supposed to be anything at all they want to make, just birthday, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. So, birthday card. Yes. Birthday card. And um, underneath the um video i already have link for you if you want to get the stuff that tammy used i have the links for her stuff and i can try to get the link for the other things if they're from creative fabric or wherever but yep. okay i'm gonna hide myself and let the girls start showing their uh desktops oh that'd be a good idea mm -hmm. well it's so those mighty odd are... on this end of the, the thing i used to be in over there with patty and being <laughs> So we got Roxanna, which we already said hey to. Gail is here. Janet's here. And Stephanie's here. I'm sure there are more people here, but unless you say hey on the chat, we don't know it. And I've got to say hello to Zara and her friend Holly, who are heading off to their ESP, their special sport on a Monday. So oh. hi. <laughs> That's right. It's already Monday there, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Monday, Monday. Yeah. Don't dread them anymore, though, right? Nope. <laughs> Mondays are good. Okay. All right, Tammy. Oh, oh, Tammy, you have a pretty blouse awesome. on. Huh? Thank you. I'm looking for my uh, scoring tool. Uh oh. I bought this little thing that twists around to put all my stuff in so it would be so easy to find my stuff. But then I filled it so full, it's no longer easy to find my stuff. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I've got several. I'll just grab one. There you go. <sighs> so those of you who are watching, feel free to chime in with any questions you might have about what they're doing. Uh, Roxana said it's sunny, a little breezy, and 34 degrees here in my part of Michigan. Wow, that sounds cold. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm making a card that um, has been, uh, for those that follow other people on the internet, it's been around the internet now for a few weeks. Um, I've made it, at the moment I've made it, um, using my scoreboard but I've also I like going in and finding something and then converting across to silhouette using the software that we use or some of us use um, there's a lot of dies out there that people are using um, and I just don't see the point in spending all that money on a die so I've decided that um, my challenge for this year is to find something that someone's using a die for and then try to convert it to the software so um, and yeah, so I've been enjoying doing that, um, using the software in that, in that manner. Right. And I love that because I know like now I could probably afford a die and a stamp, not every week, a new die and stamp, 
but back in the olden days, I could never have afforded any of that stuff. So this is fabulous. So once you get the machine, the cutting machine, you can, and you don't even have to have the um, the um, business edition. If you have a silhouette cutting machine, you can just go to town. But Bernie's got a kind of brain that works like that. I was telling her this yesterday when we were chatting. She, do you have your little diagram that you drew up? I was showing my husband. I said, do you think I could ever draw this in a million years? Do you agree with me? Nope. Well, this my is brain just doesn't work like I'm that. Like, we'll see I've been the diagram where she's figuring box. stuff. And so this is how I work it. So I looked at the box and then worked out what needed to happen. So where is the box? The box is here. <clears throat> so here's the box that I made yesterday. And then I looked to see how I was going to do it. So I did it on paper first and then did my measurements and then worked out um, what needed to happen. And then I made the box and then inside, so this piece of paper is a bit funny now, this was the inside of the box. So I did a template first and then I converted it all across to uh, silhouette. So then I went into silhouette and made it, um, <clears throat> I haven't got the other bit here. No, I haven't got the other bit. Um, and then I converted all of this into lines in silhouette. And so then I've made the box now in silhouette. And then this is, so this box, <clears throat> it's a bit basic at the moment. So this sits in here. So I'll, I'll do it up and see how we go about um, doing it. So it's called a pop-up box. I couldn't find anywhere on the internet that had a pattern. So I've made my own and then this closes down <clears throat> like that. So this is the what it ended up being in silhouette. So from my drawing, I made this, and this I need two of those to make this that goes up and down like that. Can I tell you, I'd have an ulcer trying to figure that out. I am yeah. amazed. You you should have been an art. You could have been maybe you were an architect. Or yeah, no, I, I like that kind of. I like engineering. But this is this is maths and it's oh. it's lines. So it's not creative as in looking at I, I can't paint or anything like that so that's not how my brain works but lines and maths and things like that I can do that wow. so that's how my process works for making that box wow <clears throat> I know <laughs> Stephanie said so very clever Bernie and Stephanie Thank you can do these kind of things too I've seen you Come up, see something, and make it yourself. Okay, let's check out Linda. Here we come. What you doing, girl? Oh, me. Linda. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi. Um. Yeah. I. I'm just making the front of my of this card. <laughs> um, I made a base, and the card was large, so I put a lip over it so that I can attach the back of the card, the back, and then I'll like like that. Anyway, I put um, a green glitter mat, orange mat, and then I I took a, um, I sublimated on a, um, acetate. I thought I was going to have to sublimate on um, like a, a heat heat acid, you know, a heat um, friendly acetate, but I just used my regular acetate. I took a white piece of paper and I made a, um, oh you know, gosh. a um, cool. Yeah, something else that I, that I did and I can find it. I've, 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 been, I've been taking like work, you know, like works of art that I find online and uh -huh. printing them on my um, sublimation paper and then transferring them to um, acetate and then wow. trying different color backgrounds. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. If I, oh, if I well, later on you get a chance. Yeah, it's really, it's so cool. But, wow. um, That's really neat. I never would have thought of that. I love this because you guys come up with stuff every time. <laughs> anyway, when I find, if I can find it later today, I'll show you some of those, um, those paintings okay. that I did. I, I was like so flabbergasted. But um, anyway. So how, so you're going to put that double stick tape on and tape that onto the white? Yeah, I am. Just so you can't see the edges, you know. And, but how and are you going to hide the double stick tape or don't you? Oh, no, it won't show up. It'll, it'll be clear. And then I'm going to put, I made a staircase to put 
to put oh on it. Gosh. <laughs> and this is, um, I found a really pretty brick pattern and this is just mm -hmm. uh, embossed with black and the color for this embossing on the banister is called platinum. <laughs> Even though it looks like it's copper, it was called platinum. So it I'm, looks like it's wood. Is that just cardstock? Yeah, it's just cardstock. Yeah. Oh, cool. I just love that. I was so excited oh, yeah. to find that um, red brick. <laughs> oh. Anyway. All right, let's check out Tammy. Because y'all have seen this. If you were on the Facebook group, you saw the card that Tammy created, and it is gorgeous. That is no, I didn't Tammy. post it. I, didn't I posted post it. it, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'm just putting my layers on. That's the base. Is that digital paper, Tammy? It is. It's from Creative Fabrica. That is gorgeous. Yeah. And the nice thing about that paper right now, that since it's sunflowers, is a lot of people are wanting to make sunflower things just in support of the people in the Ukraine. Now, what's the story behind that, Patty? That's their, national, their national flower. flower. Okay, because yes. I didn't yeah. have time to read it. Yeah, that's all as much as I read. I just know it's their national flower. So I'm going to do some embossing. Oh. Um, I don't know if I've shared this before, and a lot of you may know that. So this my mat here that I've got is um, it's a silicon mat, and it, see here I've got glue here, and then you can just peel it off. But this is actually a barbecue liner from the hardware shop. So oh. it came it came in this big. I don't know if you can see. So it's actually that big, and then I just cut it in half. But it's just the one that you put your food on on a barbecue, but it works. It's just a, so instead of paying for a craft one for a number of dollars, you can get this for a couple of dollars at the hardware shop. Oh, great. Job. And then the glue, and then the glue here, see here, I've got some glue and it just peels off. So when I'm being very disciplined, I put it on my green mat, but as you can see, there's been bits where I haven't been disciplined and then I get angry with myself. So. Oh. <laughs> So the barbecue liner works perfectly from the shop. Wow, nice. Um, this here is just, I found these and I'll send Patty Ann the link. These are called Borders and Corners from uh, Creative Fabrica. I just put this into silhouette and then I attached my borders and chopped it off so it made it into, um, so I made my corners for my oh. card piece. So they were just good. There's a whole heap. There's square ones, triangle, um, flowers. But for this card, this is what I wanted. And then I have embossed this piece. Um, it's got some wood grain on it. So I'm just going to do some layers on here. So I'm looking forward to Stephanie coming back next week. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> or in two weeks. Right. Oh, we miss you, Stephanie. <laughs> hmm. And let's see. Joan's here. Hey, Joan. So who, who did you say? Joan. Oh, good. Hi, Joan. <laughs> I'm not sure who Jesus Hi, Joan. is. <laughs> Roxana says, I have a barbecue liner that I use for crafting things as well, Bernie. It's nice well because done, it's Roxana. right off. Yep. Yeah. A lot of people just get in that headspace of I've got to buy a cr something for craft, but, you know, look around elsewhere. This is the... This is the brayer that I use for putting down my paper on my cardstock. That's also from the hardware shop. I think it was called a wallpaper um, oh, cool. thing. So it was here for an Australian, this was about $6 compared to like a Cricut one for Australian dollars, $20, $25. So, and oh it works God. absolutely perfectly. And that's just from the hardware shop as well. Wow. So have a look around. Yeah, because yes. people get caught up in, you know, oh, this is a cricket, I have to have it, or this is a, you know, certain brand, Tim Holtz, or whoever, whoever, if you want to go for it, but there are, there are often options, same exactly. as my, um, 
these are dentist tools uh, and you get them on eBay or Amazon and they're, they're really good um, for picking up bits of vinyl or whatever. So that's all. I just use all of them all the time. I, I do have some other ones, some branded ones, but these work just fine, the dentist picks. Hmm. I think I've heard people say they get those from Harbour Freight. We have Harbour Freight. Yes, here. yes. Yeah. Yes, Harbor Freight's good for that. All right, y'all, let me know if anybody wants spotlighted to show something. Now, this paper I found on Creative Fabrica, this pattern, and they're cardinals. So I found some birds, um, and Aww. then I printed them. And I'm just laying up my front of my card. Look how pretty that is with those layers and that frame, whatever you said it was called. Frame something. Oh, these are the, the corners and borders and corners, I think it was called. I'll, I'll send you the link. Did you also um, emboss that piece? The red Looks piece like... is embossed with um, wood grain, yes. It's called I Woodland. Yep. Woodland. Hmm. So my theme is the birds, so that's why I've got some wood. Oh, cute. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> So I was going to show them real quick the this card. <clears throat> it, it's really simple. It's the first piece, the base is just 11, 11 by five, and then you cut another piece at nine by four. And the trick is, I mean, you seen what I did? I just fold it and then fold it back on itself. But you can score it if you want to. But the thing I wanted to show you is when you go to put this card together. Well, if you have directional paper, you're going to need to figure out how you're going to need to fold it to start with to make sure you put your directional paper in the right direction. But the important thing is, is when you go to put it together, you want to fold both pieces and then find your center and glue it there. Because if you try to do it with it open, it's extremely hard to do. So you want to just fold it just like you're going to make it like this and then glue it and then just glue the side and this piece that's folded back. So what you did was you took the piece and folded it in half. And I folded it in piece, half and then I folded it back on itself. So you fold the other half back in half again. That's of. right. Okay. And that's all there is to it. You do both pieces that way. Okay. Hey, Bernie, is this your Zara? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, it is a beautiful Zara. girl. Oh. <laughs> Aww. So it, she's just getting ready for school and it's 7.20 a.m. here on Monday. So, Aww. yeah. All right, we're back at you, Linda. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey. I'm just decorating the front of the card. Um, it's, uh, I've already put the sentiment here. It says, in honor of your birthday, I want to pass along an Irish blessing. And I've got the little dog here. He needs a little... Um, party hat on and i just oh. have two balloons that i want to put put on here as well i had some really pretty green and white twine oh here it is see <laughs> always somewhere right and i want to show them um I've, I've seen a lot of talk lately about the dollar tree vinyl uh -huh. and oh i saw it it works or it doesn't work well these frames i cut these out there it's dollar tree vinyl and that's what oh, i'm wow. going to use on my card is that glitter tammy huh is it got glitter in it it does yeah oh it's beautiful it's black so you say it works then it works perfect oh wow okay cool I'm going to, I want you to mute me because I'm going to cut out a piece of black cardstock to put it on. So I'll have some dimension. I okay. Mm -hmm. that one part. So my machine would be a little loud. Okay. Hey, Bernie, Stacy says she would love to have the link to the borders and corners. Sure. Let me see if I can find it now while we're talking. It would be, let's see, borders, downloads. Oh, that's not the one I want. Yeah. 
So it is called Decorative Corners File to Cut. And then there's a number. Oh, let me look. Okay, I'll get it. Decorative Corners. Decorative Forna Corners File to Cut 1896275. Yep, I got it. Beautiful. It's like somebody from Russia or something, right? <laughs> it's a Russian I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. I believe this is it. Let me uh, copy this. Okay, here it's coming, and I believe this is it. Oops, got about eight files, I think. Two, three, five, six, eight, five. The number one, no, one eight nine six two oh, seven five. Oh, another one. Then there was a really pretty one there too. One eight nine eight six two seven five. Okay. Did you find it? I found the one, and I'm sorry, but can you tell me one more time the number? Yep. One eight it. one eight nine eight six two seven five. Oh, maybe I had that wrong. One eight nine. Is that the right number? Let me look. One eight nine eight six two seven five. Yep. Okay. And between the decorative corners file to cut, there's all dashes. So it's decorative dash corners dash. Ah, little stinkers. Decorative dash corners. Dash okay. file dash two dash cut dash and then the number. Ah. Well, what a pain. <laughs> yeah. Is there a dash before the number? Yes. Dash. Oh. Dash everywhere. Anybody else ready to be spot spotlighted? Oh, Tammy, we'll watch what you're doing. Oh, I got to unmute you, Tammy. Um, hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're back. Oh, you're still cutting, huh, Tammy? Yeah, I am. I'm just doing my flowers while that's cutting. Oh, okay. So what are the flowers cut out of? Uh, they're cut out of um, a real light um, shimmer paper. It's like, uh, I forget Stephanie sent it to me. I think, I forget how many pounds, but it's real, it's real light. I, I need to say hello to Molly as well because she's watching as well, but um, apparently she said hi. So my daughter, just, my daughter just messaged me and said, I've got a lot of fanning going on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, so probably Jude's watching as well. So hi, buddy. Oh. The design is on Creative Fabrica for this flower. Oh, okay. Mm. 
All right. So, oh, what's Tammy doing? North Carolina Artsy Farty, aka Vicky, that some of you have met when you came to visit, wants to know what Tammy's doing. <laughs> Tammy. Hey, Tammy. You have yes. her muted. I do. I thought um, you did. Never mind. No, she's not muted. Uh -uh. Sorry. Go ahead. I so can Vicky hear you. was wanting to know what are you doing? Tell her she never made the flowers, I guess. I am uh, taking a scoring tool and it actually came from the Dollar Tree. These are a dollar and the little ends of them are balls, see, two different sizes. And so if you go over this cardstock and make little circles, it will help the cardstock, the flower to have movement. So it'll help it to curl. So it'll have a little movement to it. Oops. Okay. The front of my card is finished. Oh, cute. I'm going to move to the inside. Hey, for those of you, you who are just joining us, you see that little gingham there? That is something that she sublimated onto what? I, I sublimated, um, I, I printed the gingham onto a piece of, um, I, I printed it on acetate. And then you can get the full, you can appreciate the whole pattern. It, it shows up. This is like almost like a blue, a blueprint or a negative. Oh. And then it kind of brings it to life. <laughs> oh, you just printed it on there. I thought you said you sublimated it on there. I sublimated it on a piece of sublimation. Uh, on a uh -huh. piece, of, I printed it out on a piece of sublimation paper. Okay. And then I sublimated it onto... Here and then, when yeah. you take a piece of plain paper or any any color, right. you, know, you just you can it, it highlights whatever you've sublimated. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, the inside, I'm I'm going to do this um, origami center, Ooh. and um, this is just a matter of of folding. I I used a piece of eight by eight paper. And, um, and in the center, no matter what size you make, um, you, you take a peek, you can score. You see where I have the, I don't know if you can see the score lines, but I have a score line going vertically and horizontally, uh, horizontally dead center in this square. And so it's from that point, you just, you, I, I folded this direction, then I folded to the center this way. I folded to the center this way folded to the center that way. Then I took the corner, folded to the center, folded to the center, all four sides. And then after I did that, all of the squares kind of, um, you take the corners and they fold in on themselves hmm. to create this um, pattern like that. Oh, so beautiful. And I love how it coordinates so beautifully with your, uh, with your card. Yeah. I had to cut out, let me see, I had to cut out one, two, three, four. 32 um, triangles. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> because I wanted to make, um, you know, I wanted the, the colors of I, the Irish flag to be um, you know, prominent on here. Since uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Okay. Yeah. And here, do you want to see the sentiment? Sure. Okay. By the way, while you, you're getting those, um, let me just interject that. Uh, Somebody asked, what was it? I just saw something about Tam. Oh, Joan asked, Tammy, did you print that top piece and also emboss it? And you can answer that. I in did. After. Hmm? I did. Oh, okay. We'll come back and see it as soon as Linda shows okay. us. Her yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. I went to um, DeFont this morning and I found a, a Celtic um, font. <laughs> I found one in. Um, uppercase and I found one in lowercase and I used the uppercase because the lowercase D looked like a zero. Oh. <laughs> it had a little, little, so, um, but anyway, this is from DeFont and you know, they're free, all the fonts. So I just put in, um, I, I, I entered Celtic font and then Irish font and oh. you know, there were a few. And so then after I, you know, I put, did, can you read it as you slide yeah. down? Bannister of life may the splinters never point in the wrong oh, direction. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so, hence, hence the banister. Oh, that's so <laughs> cute. 
I love it. <laughs> so How that's did you, come up with that? did you come up with that? Did you spy it somewhere or just <laughs> I, I read I um I went online for um what well two ways. I went online and looked for um Irish sentiments and <laughs> I ended up on a blog of some um, Irish American mom who had oh. a lot of those posted. I oh. didn't even know. I thought that it was a, someone just made it up, but it was. It's actually an Irish. An Irish oh, that's statement. hilarious! <laughs> so anyway, so that's I'm going to so go ahead. Cute. And that's so appropriate that. for your card. Yeah. Oh. All right, Tammy, we're coming back to see what Joan was asking about. If you're there. Oh, okay. Here it is. So yes, I embossed it, and like I said, the cardstock is printed. It came from Creative Fabrica. It's all in the same set. This paper and the one behind it. They have several. And when you go there, if you leave it the size it is, you're not going to see the flowers that much. They're real close together. So in Creative Fabrica, I mean in Silhouette, you can uh, pan the pattern. And you can scale it up or down. So I scaled it up because I want the sunflowers to really be prominent. Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. Mm. Look how pretty your flower is, too. I'm, Beautiful. I'm, we I'm weeding my little frames. Okay. Bernie, we're coming back. <laughs> okay. So I've put my, I had my layers all on. I have, I've got one, two, three, four layers of um, paper. So I had white, I had the red that I embossed. I've got the cardinals that I printed and some red mm. oily paper. And then you attach that to this part of the card and the card sits up like that. And then it also, when it's finished, it'll lay flat. Um, and then that's the bit that I made. So it's a needle card with a, a box frame the box square down the bottom and that's what's holding it and I'm just going to put inside now I'm going to put my um oops that one's not the one I want so this one's going here it's your birthday and I've got so on the front I need to it'll make sense when I put my bird on so I also have a bird oh, beautiful. so that I also found on creative fabrica and going to sit on the front of the card Aww. and then that will sit like that I'm just trying to work out which sentiment I want for the front so that that'll sit there like that and then I've either got this little one that's going to sit on the front that oh there we go a little birdie told me so that's either going to sit there or I've got it in a bigger format so I'm not quite sure I think I'm going to go with the bigger one. It doesn't cover up the bed too much. And when it's flat, that'll be different. So I'm Did going to put emboss? these on the front and that'll go on there. Did you emboss behind that little bird, you know, the sentiment? Yeah, the emboss? same as the Woodlands one. So they're oh, both in, oh, cute. They're both nice. embossed, the red and the, the white. There it is. You can kind of, there you go. So it's embossed both with the same... Um, the same embossing that I did on here. Wow. So it's called wood, it's called woodlands. So did you print it first on your printer? Yes. And then it embossed I it. Cut. So I found I wrote that in silhouette, put it where I wanted, found made a flower using the um, the oval and then the replicate tool. So I just drew one oval, uh -huh. and then over on the right you've got the replicate tool. So I replicated it into however and it added it made it into a flower for me hmm. and then then i print and cut and then i embossed wow. and then for the red, I offset the white one. So I made the white one and then offset it to red. Offset mm -hmm. it and made another one and then just cut it with red cardstock. Mm -hmm. What's that little thing to your right? 
that little square thing is that just a cover for what is that no nope, that's a glue remover so on the back here i got very excited with my glue oh. and it's um it takes off glue oh wow so you can see here it'll come off it's oh. like a it's hard I'm, I'm not sure i've only got the lid i don't it's called a i think it's called a glue remover eraser um and it gets all these googly black bits but it doesn't matter i don't like them but i've seen others use them and they're nearly black but it just takes all the yeah it just takes all the glue off that's on the back of my card so i wasn't too bothered by it but that's what that is and they have them at the dollar tree oh wow okay them. no mine that's one of those ones that I actually paid for a brand name because here oh, that's all I could get. So Laura asked, can you show how it folds for mailing? Are you talking about yep. burning? Sure. I hope Laura. <laughs> um, when it's finished, I'll add some more embellishments, but this part just sits down. The oh. like square sits down and then the card sits like that. So it goes in a five by seven envelope. Nice. So that will just go like that and then it just pops up when the person opens it like that. Mm -hmm. So this is the base of the, the back one is five by seven. And yeah, it just folds up. Or you could fold it, you could move that either way, down or up, whichever. It doesn't matter. So that's the back of the card would have nothing on it. Hey, Tammy, we're back. <laughs> okay, I'm just sticking my vinyl to the frame just to give it a little bit more dimension. That did make it look really pretty on your card, that sparkly. Sure did. Mm -hmm. Hey, is that one of those erasers too, Tammy? I do. That's what I was going to show you. It comes from the oh. Dollar Tree. You can get them oh. for a dollar. Oh. Wow. That. I yeah. didn't pay a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I we don't I have, have the dollar. We don't have we... anything like the Dollar Tree or Do some not of the ones that Stephanie has in the UK. We're quite limited on... <laughs> Hey, um, 50 cents. Yeah. But you're real creative about finding things that Wait, work just as well. Yeah. Janice's oh. clever card. And those of you reading the uh, chat, you can see Stephanie and Betsy have been talking about Stephanie was in the hospital. That's why she hasn't joined us today live. She's recuperating a little bit but doing well right Steph okay Linda we're coming to you yeah I'm just making um I put a background here I used on uh, one of the St. Patrick's Day St. Patrick's Day backgrounds and uh -huh. I may, I'm doing a belly band now so that I can hold this contraption together. <laughs> and I will put this shamrock over oh. the whole thing. And it's going to have a, um, oh shoot, I got some, uh, oh, uh, look at that. Is it glue? No, it, it, it pulled some of the. Um, oh, the paper. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. Um, that is. I'll figure out something. Yeah, I'll figure out something for that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put a closure, a magnetic closure. Oh, cute! On on the belly band. Yeah, I oh. hmm, I can't really off center that much. What could I do? I can just put. You could put a duvo drop, and then if you if the color of the thing in the back is messed up, you could use your markers to kind of hide it, maybe. Or you can rip it off like I think you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Lord, help me, please. <laughs> oh, 
by the way, this belly band was nine and three quarter Damn, inches. Damn, we were talking high. about. Never mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, all right. So let's see. Roxana said, Bernie, I think the front of your card would make a great Valentine's Day card as well. Yep. You could do anything on it. You could. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that, no, that didn't work, Bernadette. That was a bit silly. What did you do there? No. Oops, take that off before. Oh, wrong way. I do have. That was silly. I've got another bit of this that I might have to put over the top. Oh, oh Bernie's got to do a fixer up. Yep, you, huh? I made a big mistake. Let's see oh. if I can get this off. So right, I've got another one. It shouldn't matter too much, but I don't want to put it on top because it'll add too much bulk. Let's see how much I can get off. Shall we watch Bernie struggle or shall we go to Tammy? You can watch me struggle. We can? Okay. <laughs> Are those little pop dot things from putting the cardinal on, or is that for some Are these? Time? Yeah, they're all little bits of um, okay. the backing sheets. Yep. Okay. All right, Tammy, we're gonna have a look at yours. All righty, I'm putting on this um, frame over my sentiment. Happy B day! That's Happy so cute. Happy day! I love it. <laughs> Oh, cute. Did y'all see the bee yet? Oh, my gosh. So cute. So I'm going to add the bees now since you're talking. Are you? Them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kathy said, so beautiful. I Ooh. made them ahead of time. Here's the big bee. Oh. So tell wow. us about the bees. So the bee came from Creative Fabrica. It's an SVG. And so I cut it out in black cardstock. And then I cut the wings out in vellum. And then I cut the top of the wings out in the vinyl from the Dollar Tree. Oh, wow. The glitter vinyl from the Dollar Tree. Yeah. Hmm. And I'm going to pop him up. And I put glossy accents. That's why he's so shiny. And did you then, find the B on Creative Fabrica? Yeah, Patty's yeah. got a link to it. Okay. Yeah, the link is below the video here. And the little stripes, I actually have really cheap glitter markers that I think we bought for one of the grandkids and realized that it was too juicy. So oh. I just kept it in here, and it works really good. Mm -hmm. Stephanie says your bee is gorgeous. Thank you, Steph. The whole thing, the flower, the bee, the card. Oh, nice. And I think probably everybody else believe, agrees with me that whenever you put, whenever you emboss the cardstock, it just makes it look so much richer. Just, oh, just love it. Now. Baby B. Baby B? Yeah, my baby B. I mean, who doesn't want to make that little card with that little B? Oh. Did you tint the um the vellum at all or with the markers or was it just I did. I actually took um and colored it with a yellow marker and then oh. I went over it with a gray one to give it that, you know, yeah. like it's got veins in it. Right. Oh, 
Hi, Heidi. Heidi. Oh, Jana says she loves the bee. And Heidi said hello. Thank you. Now we're going to put some leaves on it. She said that card's beautiful, Tammy. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see what she's doing. It's kind of hard to mess up with sunflowers and bees. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I agree, Janet. Janet says all the cards are adorable. Yep. The bee from this, from my vantage point, almost looks like he's fuzzy. Mm. Oh, does he? Mm -hmm. It's probably it's really glitter. beautiful, Tammy. What'd you say, Linda? I said it's very beautiful. Oh, Joan said, y'all amaze me. <laughs> Heidi said he does look fuzzy. I know. Oh, you talking about like fuzzy with his body? Like yeah, yeah, like slight, like velvet. It looks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was thinking your camera was fuzzy, and I was like, oh, well, here it is. No, I don't know. No, like, like, like it's fuzzy. like suede or velvet or something like yeah. that. Right. Yeah. I didn't think about making him out of flock. Maybe I'll do that oh. next time. Oh, Let's Bernie, see. you're done. We can't show yours. Well, we can if you'd like. Are you yeah. ready? Okay. So there's a little birdie told me. So it's got the bird on the front and then inside it's your birthday and it says it's a pleasure being in your flock, wishing you a wonderful birthday. Oh, I love that. In your flock. <laughs> yeah, in your flock. Oh. And then yeah. that just goes like that. And then to um, post it, it, that folds under, that folds down, and then it becomes like that. Nice. And that's all in there. So you, I'm sure you have paper that you can make an envelope. It's like your signature thing to show yep, us. Yep, I can do that. Thank I'll you. Find a piece of, and we'll check out Linda while you're doing that. Linda, have you finished too? No, I haven't. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm glad because I sure had. <laughs> got your new belly band on. I see. Well, oh, this is this is a this is a disaster. This this bottom right here. Oh, why? Push it up. We can't see the bottom. Push because, yeah, there you go. What's wrong? What just hides it? No, no, no. But um, it, it I, I need, I need something that's stronger. What are you doing? You mean stronger glue? Stronger glue. Because I use that, I use that matted paper, that uh -huh. double-sided matted paper. Yeah. Now, Betsy, I don't know if Betsy's watching, but thank you for the um, for responding about the um, type of paint stickers you use. Oh yes, was it the same kind that you showed us, Linda? The yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to say that. But that was nice. Of, that was nice of her to, to share. Yes, it was very nice. This is that um, three-in-one glue. It's really, I love this. Oh. What you doing, Tammy? It sounds like you're blow drying something. Oh, I uh, used my heat gun on that Nuvo Drops in the center here. Yeah. And it, and it makes it bubble up. Mm. And then I have texture. Oh, I think I'm going to be talking about that. That's yeah. cool. And it also helps my flower. It, it keeps curling when I do it, so I like that. <laughs> Don't close it. Oh, I'm not. It's dry anyway. I dried it with a with oh. that. I'm gonna make my bows now. Okay. Are you gonna show us how you make the bows? I know you and Stephanie have been working on it. Yeah, my uh, yeah, Betsy. Stephanie taught me. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, no, no, Betsy. Yes, yeah, she was talking about thanks for the link for the um, sticker paper that she sent. Uh, 
Um, and uh, Heidi was asking, Linda, is that a St. Patty's Day card? You think? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it sure is. <laughs> it is. So we've got one more section to bake, and then I'll be finished. Stephanie says, you ladies have done fantastic cards. Love them all and all so different. And that's the way it is every time, huh, Steph? Even when you're here, every time y'all make something totally different. It's so much fun. Oh, yeah. So Betsy says, yeah, if you use that, then you don't have to laminate. Do those pegs move, Tammy, so you can make the bow as big as you like? Yes, they do. Ah, okay. It comes with wow. four and you can move them over. Yep. And it's relatively, when I bought it, it was like five bucks on Amazon. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we want to see your bow. Okay. Let me cut the tails off and then I'll okay. show you. I'll show you the pocket I made after Tammy does. Okay, no. Bernie, do you have a drink there? <laughs> a drink? <laughs> yes, I have my green tea. <laughs> okay. All right, Tammy, we're ready to... Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were... Oh, beautiful. Oh. Just a tiny little bow I'm going to stick on here. Uh -oh. And I like using glue dots for the bow. Mm-hmm. It just sticks better. Did you color the bow the way? I did not. Um, this is actually some ribbon Linda gave me, and you probably can't see, but it's kind of a, it's kind of tinted. So it's oh, almost, it's just, it's yeah. just the right color, I think. Nice. So I think yeah, she, if she didn't have the right color, she could have used her markers. Stephanie taught yes. us that. Use your alcohol mm -hmm. markers, I believe, right? And you can color yes. any, to any color. That's right. I'm going to put another one on the, on the back side. We're coming, Linda. Here we are. <laughs> well, okay. So for the inside, um, the inside, I've made a pocket. Oh. And um, all you do for this pocket is you take, I took, I, you can take any square, but I took a six by six and I folded it point to point to make a big triangle. And mm -hmm. then I, I, I was glad that this paper had lines, but you just, you line up this corner with um, one side until the corner, the top of it is straight. And then you do the same thing for the other corner and you match this point right here mm -hmm. and then you take the top piece of the triangle and you tuck it conveniently in this area here it makes a nice pocket like that I'll, and then i'm gonna put it here and i'm just gonna decorate it with shamrocks mm. in different places to make it pretty oh, yeah. and it's going to be a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we used to do with those? We used to use those for cups if we didn't have one for something quick to get. That's a, a great drink. idea. Um, I'm going to use this for a, a gift card. Oh, nice. Yeah, done. Oh, I'm, I'm going to make it. my envelope. Okay, um, let me go back to Bernie. So okay. I've got all of that tucked up. So here's my card if anyone, if anyone hasn't seen it. Um, so I'm measuring from the corner to the corner. And I did that before and it was eight and three quarters. So if I go, hang on, let me go that way. Eight and three quarters to that line there. So I know that I have to add an inch. So whatever your diagonal measurement is, add one inch. So if this was 10 inch, I'd have to have an 11 inch piece of paper. If this was seven inch, 
I would have an eight inch square. So this is eight and three quarters. So I've cut my paper at nine and three quarters. So I've got the measurement eight and three quarters plus one inch. Now I've got some paper today that I'm going to have white on the outside because I actually want to mail this card. Um, so I'm putting this on the inside. So it's just um, it's a paper pad that I got that I don't really like. I, I like it, but I don't like that it's just single sided. And that's why, you know, with Tammy and the way, you know, that we've been finding things on Silhouette, you know, this pad cost Australia made it was like $25 or something. And it's a pad now that I don't use. So I use it for envelopes or something. But all of this could be found, you know, somewhere on um, Creative Fabrica and make your own paper. So mm. there's special about this paper that you couldn't potentially make yourself like Tammy's done with her bees. So I'm going to line up. So I just found the a line. So I've just got it on my 12 here and then I worked out where 12 was up there just so I could line the points up so it's, it's kind of even. Um, and then the same along the vertical, the horizontal side. And then the card sits somewhere. You can, you know, go to the whole problem of working out, or not problem, but working out where the middle is or anything like that. I'm just going to eyeball this and work out where I think is the middle. And then I've got sort of enough room there, 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 and here. And then you just fold the sides or the bottom up, give it a crease, fold the top down and crease it, turn it sideways and then bring this up and the same on the opposite side. And then, so that's sort of the basic envelope. Take the card out and, you know, burnish those sides properly. And the same on that one. So I've got sort of roughly where I had my mark and now I'm just folding it up the same here and the same here. And there's the basic envelope. And now when I open it up again, I've got my, I've got some, oops, sorry. I've got some triangles that need to come out with my scissors. So it's probably easier to see on this side. So I'm just going to cut those triangles out. So I've now got my two sides. I'll put some tape. You can put glue. You could put tape. Um, tape works for me. And I'm just going to go down to there and cut my tape. And that one. Put some more tape. I just use a straight edge to make sure that the tape cuts evenly. Uh, take off the... And I'll burnish the tape down a bit. And take the backing off. And fold that up. Now, I could cut that off if I wanted. So, and then it folds down. I put my card in. Fits in perfectly. And there's my envelope and betsy said pretty to leave the flat side with the design which is yes. what you it's really cute yep. and so, yeah, so envelope hits. some most times i will have the paper on the outside because i'm usually giving it to someone but this one i'm posting so i wanted it just to be white mm -hmm. Okay, I'm finished. 
Okay, yeah, we're at you. Here we are. It's so beautiful. The gold on it looks like the printing of that paper is just lovely. You wouldn't know that that was printed paper. Right. The the honeycomb just looks like it's popping. Yeah. What's so pretty? Hey, what are those little dots I see on the front? That's Nuvo drops. Oh, those are Nuvo drops too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't dry those because I don't want them to bubble up. But right. the sunflower, I drew, I, I, I used my heat gun and dried it. See how it gave it texture? Yes. Uh-huh. Was that more than one drop? Was that several? Drops? Yes, I covered oh. the whole center of the flower. Oh, okay. Cool. Beautiful. It stands up like this. It folds flat, but I'm not going to fold it yet because my needle drop won't dry. Pull it a little, a little toward you. There you go. Yeah. Oh, nice. But it will fold flat and fit into a five and a half by five and a half envelopes, what I made. Mm. Absolutely beautiful, Tammy. Yeah. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you, Roxanne. Yeah. I okay. think it's beautiful. Well, no, we're coming your way. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so here's my card. It's um, pretty large. Oh, I just found these little charms I'm going to put somewhere on it. They're so cute. They're little um, oh, wow. shamrocks. And, or actually, these are four-leaf clovers. But yeah. here's the card. Oh, and, um, oh, um, so let's cute. see. So I, I, you know, I use the stair steps. The, uh, this um, this was a die, and you can get that on Amazon if you like this, the banister. It also comes with a, a window, comes with this window besides the stair steps. You know, you could kind of put a window. It's yeah. Also, it can, comes with uh, Christmas yeah. embellishments, and um, what else did it come with? A cat and a dog, but this was not the dog that came with it. This is, I just love this little dog right here. Um, can you anyway, pull it down towards you a little bit? Pull it towards you a little bit. There you go. Perfect. There, there you go. go. There you go. There you go. So you can, you know, I've, I've matted it several times. The glitter, the cardstock, the plain white, and then the sublimated acetate. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I used um, black embossing powder for this and a platinum embossing powder. And this is white underneath these stair steps. I cut these stair steps out like that. Um, oh. I, just, I just score. I just traced it and cut them out, cut it out. And um, it says, in honor of your birthday, I want to pass along an Irish blessing. And you open it up. And there's a little doggy again. Aww. And then here's, this is going to be where the gift certificate goes and some more party balloons. And then you open the belly band, if it opens. And out pops the sentiment as you slide down the banister of life. May the splinters never point in the wrong direction. That's Happy hilarious. birthday. It's so, I love it. So cute. So cute. Yes. Thank you. Wow. And then you put your closure back. Whoopsie. There. And I haven't, I'm going to, I'm also going to put something on the back. Um, it's just yeah, I put something back. on the back of mine. I forgot to show it. I'm just going to put a piece of design. I, I embossed this earlier. I just, you know, I, it was a piece of white cardstock and I found a really mm. pretty embossing folder. And then I just put some, you know, green over top. I thought that would be pretty, but it, I don't know if I can. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I like this one, too. This is pretty. Uh, yeah. Betsy said, were the dogs from Creative Fabrica? You know what, Betsy? I got those dogs so long ago. I, I got them when my um, granddaughter was going to have a an, uh, um, an adopted. She, she had a, a birthday party where they all adopted a puppy. Oh my so, gosh! So there was like on the in this uh, yeah. So I, I on all every cupcake I made forty eight cupcakes and twenty four of the cupcakes had different dogs that I put oh. on picks. <laughs> wow! But um. If I find it, I will send it to you. Or I, or I could, yeah, message me. Me message yeah. me. I can maybe find a file for you. There you go. Did you find those other things that you were going to maybe hopefully find? The art pieces? Oh, you know what? I, if, if I turned the camera and I showed you how messy this was, you would go, oh, Linda. Oh, no, I thought maybe you could put them on your desk. <laughs> I, I wish, I, I'll show you this again. I don't know if they, 
Did everybody see these? Probably not, since new people are here. Yeah. I used the sublimation, and I used um, I used laminating folders, actually. And um, I bought these at um, Michael's when they were like 90% off. I got 12. Wow. And, and, and they were like $3. It was such a good deal. So I bought six of them, of course. <laughs> uh -huh. And, and so, um, so they, you had to put something on top of them to make them laminatable, right? No, so. I laminated them straight out. I'll well, show you. Mean, Let me show I mean, you. I mean sublimate on them. You had to laminate them to be able to sublimate. Right. And I just used a, uh, I did four at a time. I used a sublimation, I mean, a laminating folder. Oh, cool. Let me show you what they look like. Because I used, I think, oh, hold on. I think these were supposed to be the top. Because it looks uh -huh. kind of rustic looking. Right. But I laminated on the smooth back. Uh-huh. I just put four of these in um, an eight by, you know, a regular letter size laminating pouch. Right. And, and, um, and then when it, when they came and I used my heat press, I didn't use the Cricut iron for these. And I, right. I did them okay. at 400 for about 20 or 30 seconds. And then when they came out, that's when I had these you know, the, the sublimated printed, I printed her, her portrait right. um, on, on the um, sublimation paper. And, you know, I put it this way, you know, upside yeah. down. And um, then I just put the, I put the heat, pulled the heat press down for one minute. And I had to work really quickly when it came out because there were bubbles on the outside. So I just used a, um, I mean, like a, a hand brayer just to, you know, uh -huh. ooze, out, ooze out the um, the bubbles from all the edges. And look how, look, at the, you can't even, no, uh, it's kind of bubble free. And then yeah. I used an X-Acto knife, which is kind of tricky. I don't have any cuts this week, but I used an X-Acto oh. knife to go around here. Oh, and another thing I did, when these came out of the um, printer, I cut them out and I used um, my, what's it called? Quarter rounder? Yeah, well, it was it was either a quarter or a half rounder, but yeah, uh -huh. the rounding the rounding punch, yeah. Right. So anyway, I just love these. <laughs> yeah. yes. So I'm going to show the back of my card, Patty. Okay. Yeah, coming back. All right. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, terrible. yes. That's perfect. So this yeah. sunflower came from Creative Fabrica. And this little pattern paper came from the paper that Patty done a video on from the uh, Snap and Click Supply Company. Oh. So I took their flower off and put my flower on. Oh. And then I took yellow uh, ink and went around it to kind of dull it down a little bit so it wasn't so bright. Mm. Perfect. Very nice. Absolutely beautiful. So pretty. Yes. My goodness. Okay, well, ladies, do you, oh, wait, Bernie, we, yeah, we saw yours too. Okay, y'all want to come on back on the screen? It's up to you, whether you want to or not. I don't know. Oh, let me get back. <laughs> Bernie. Yay. Bernie's ready to start her day, and we're all winding down. <laughs> <laughs> and Stephanie's probably already in bed. <laughs> Oh, Betsy said, thank you all. Y'all are so talented. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Welcome, Betsy. Stephanie's still awake. Bernie, fabulous card, and you are so clever with your designs. Yeah. Thank you, Stephanie. And, and Janet loved them all. Roxana, nice finishing touches. Yeah. Beautiful cards once again, ladies. So what day, when are we back with you next? So in two weeks, we'll have a Patreon class, right? Mm -hmm. Or is that next, next Sunday? Sunday. No, so next Sunday. Sunday will be Patreon. The Sunday after that will be DigiChicks. And if you right. have any ideas of what you would like Stephanie, Bernie, and Linda to create, <laughs> just go ahead and send it in the uh, group or you, email us at teampattyann at gmail.com or leave us a comment on the video. Are you bailing out, Tammy? <laughs> oh, no, I don't have to. I, I just I just uh, jumped in for Stephanie for one day. She'll be yeah. back. Yeah, all right. I'm good to jump in again. <laughs> right. Oh, and don't forget, those of you in Patreon, you'll be, I'll be live from my sister's house in Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice I'm going to go visit her. I haven't been to her house in years, it seems. So. How long will you be away? I'm going to, I'm leaving 
Thursday morning and I'm going to probably come back Tuesday. So, nice. Oh, uh, tell yeah. Marissa hi. Yeah, I will. <laughs> All, All right. right. I guess that's it then. Unless anybody had any questions, let's look. Heidi said, really beautiful creations, ladies. Thank you for sharing. Stacy said, thank you all. I will watch again next time. Yippee. It's thank fun. you guys, too. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank See you all again soon. Thank you. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs>